Happy Tuesday. We're looking at the parable of the Good Samaritan. We set it up yesterday. A uh, young leader trying to test Jesus, trying to embarrass Jesus, asked him a question. Jesus asked him a question back. There's a little bit of a back and forth uh, in which they're talking about the law and what you've got to do to be right with God and um, as an effort to try and um, derail the whole conversation, the, the man says to Jesus, who is my neighbor? And then in uh, verse 30 of Luke chapter 10, Jesus begins the parable. Uh, in reply, so in reply to the last statement, Jesus says, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, which is a very famous road. Jerusalem's up on top of the mountain. You're going down to Jericho. It's very hilly, very windy. There's one road, you know, so uh, you knew it and uh, you don't like it because it says he fell into the hands of robbers. Because the road is curvy, um, you know, there's lots of places around the corner for bad guys to hide. You come around the corner, they jump out at you and uh, hit you over the head and, and steal all your stuff. So indeed, it says uh, the, this man fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, uh, he passed by on the other side. So to a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. Um, but a Samaritan, as he traveled, came to where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. So, uh, first century Jewish society, very, uh, very uh, stratified. Uh, the priest is an educated person, speaks Hebrew, you know, moves among the hoi polloi, and uh, is unlikely to stop and help just anybody. And the fact that this man is uh, naked means he can't look at his clothes and figure out, is he, you know, is he somebody I should pay attention to or not? The fact that he can't, he's knocked out, he can't speak, he doesn't know if he's going to speak Hebrew or whatever. So he walks by. Uh, this, then the Levite, sort of a priest second class, not quite as well to do, not quite as good as schools, whatever, not as much money. Um, he uh, also does not engage. <clears throat> but a Samaritan uh, does engage. So this is shocking because the Samaritans who lived next to the Jews were the, this was the, the, this is where the ethnic tension lies. And the Samaritans are persona non grata, the ones that Jews like the least. And for Jesus to make a hero of a Samaritan is sort of to go out of his way uh, to speak against the kind of uh, ethnic tension that was uh, the, the racism that was in place at that time. Um, so picking a Samaritan as the hero, uh, which is where we're going to end, is the kind of disruptive thing Jesus tends to do. Have a good day.